So, you want to be a official Discord moderator. Now, before I get into the step-by-step -step process, I'm going to give you a very quick rundown for those who just want to know the steps. First of all, read the documentation, though I assume many will skip that. Second, fill out this Discord Moderator Academy exam. Third, you will be invited, if you pass, to join the official Discord Moderator community. And if you are active for at least three months, you are eligible, but not guaranteed, to receive the badge. Again, you must fill out the application. If you pass, you will be invited to join the server and you must be active for at least three months to be eligible, not guaranteed, to receive the brand new Discord moderator badge. Now this video is mainly gonna cover the application process and I'm not gonna go into how you can be active in a server because that's pretty straightforward. But in my opinion, this badge is, if you're a badge hunter and that's solely what you wanna do, this badge might be a bit too much to actually go for. I'd put this in the same rel, if not maybe a little lower than the bug hunter badge. Because with the bug hunter badge, you can't just report one or two bugs and get the badge. You have to consistently report bugs, be active in the community. This is a month long, not even month long, this is several month long process. And you're competing against hundreds, thousands of other people who are trying to find bugs and report them. So the odds of you finding enough bugs to remain consistently active is really low, which makes getting the bug hunter badge really minuscule. I wouldn't say the Discord mod badge is anywhere near as difficult, but it definitely requires a lot of time commitment to get it. And if you're just looking for quote unquote easy badges to get, this might not be the one for you. Without further ado, let's get into the process of applying. So of course, it's recommended to read over this vast documentation that Discord has on how to moderate a community. Honestly, if you've even been using Discord at all for the past few months, this should all be pretty straightforward to you, but they do throw in some wacky questions that you might need to get some assistance with to answer. So this is the actual link to the application. I have this in the description and pinned in the comment section. But this is the first screen you see when you open up the link. You click next, you type your username. So I'm going to type my username and then I'm just going to type a bunch of numbers here. Then are you currently 18? Yes. What communities? Yada, 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 and yada, yada, yada. And would you be willing to speak with media or discord? I don't know how it affects your application if you select no. So it's safer just to click yes. Now going to the next part, you have your multiple choice questions. So there's a different set of questions every time you take this or for every person. Now these do come from some kind of question bank. So there's probably 50 to 60, maybe less questions it can pull from. So the 20 questions that you get are likely going to be different from the other 20 questions somebody else gets. They'll definitely be in different order and the answers are going to be in a different order as well. Now, as you can imagine with any online test, there have been quizlets that have popped up. Now, as to how accurate these are, that's, I guess, up to you to decide. But from what I've seen, these are pretty darn accurate. So if you want to take this route, Discord likely or definitely does not approve. They want you to memorize everything in the Moderator Academy but Quizlets are an option. And of course, the easiest way to do that is you take the question, go over it, right click and search Google for whatever you just highlighted. Now I've had pretty good luck with that. And I'm just gonna go over the questions I had. I'm gonna scroll down, pause if you have to, and these will be the correct answers. Correct, as correct as I think they should be. And that's from having several years of experience with Discord. So I'm just gonna scroll down, 
pause as you need if you spot a question that popped up in your own application. Gonna keep on going, keep on going, that's the ends. And just in case this site gets taken down, this Quizlet, which is incredibly unlikely, because even colleges can't get Quizlets taken down, I'm gonna scroll through this one as well. Pause if you see an answer to one of the questions. Great, so that was the easy step. Now we get on to the short answer. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a paste bin or any of that sort for you, and I haven't been able to find one, and they're expecting one to two paragraphs in response to each of these questions. My recommendation is, as with any job application, if you're just copy pasting the answer somebody else posted somewhere else, you're likely going to get denied anyway, because this is going to be the hundredth time they've seen that same exact response and they're gonna know you don't really care and you'll just get denied anyway. So it's not even worth your time to fill out the application if you're just gonna copy paste responses. Now, you really wanna be humble with this, go into good detail and show that you actually learned something or you accomplished something. That's, as with any job application, what people are looking for. So make sure you really hit those points. Then once you submit it, I'm not going to click submit on mine, but it's going to give you a short little sentence along the lines of thanks, you've submitted your application, we'll go back to you in a couple weeks if you passed. And from there, you have the fun time of, not that, of this, and I'll link this in the description as well, but becoming an active, engaged, and contributing member to the Discord Moderator Discord. And again, Three months, the minimum, but it's likely it's going to go longer and you're not even guaranteed to get the badge during that time. So go into this, I guess really only if you are really interested in this, otherwise it's going to become a chore and I can't imagine you have much fun doing so just for a badge. Now they don't mention it here, but I assume there's going to be some sort of activity requirement to even keep the badge once you get it. So I would take this as a badge that requires a lot of effort to acquire and a lot of effort to keep. So I leave it up to your discretion whether that's something you think is worth your time to do. Other than that, I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed for more Discord related content. And don't hesitate to leave a comment in the description if you have a question and either I or someone else will answer it for you. Other than that, have a great day.